Hey guys, what is going on? So I just wanted to talk about my home gym, um, the brand that I use and just kind of my overall experience over the first month or two that I've had it and just would I recommend the brand that I got. And so the brand that I got is Rep Fitness. Um, I had never heard of them until I started to research. So I think that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because they're a lesser known brand as far as I can tell. And I think they're, they have you know, pretty quality equipment. So I just want to share my experience with that. So, um, going in, I knew obviously like Rogue Fitness, a lot of people were praising that, um, but the prices seemed to be pretty high. And then I'd heard about Titan Fitness as well. Um, and the first thing that I ever saw was like this belted squat. And, uh, it was like, I remember looking at that and being like, man, you could use this and have squats in your house. And I just thought that was a pretty cool idea. Um, and after looking at it, you know, people weren't super thrilled about that product or just rep fitness products in general. I know Alan Frawls made a video about how much he hates them. And uh, I just really didn't want that experience. And I was willing to pay a little bit of extra money to not have that experience. Now, I personally was kind of finding that I was going to be the only one using this gym and it wasn't even going to be something I was going to be using year round. Um, like I still have a gym membership, so it's not like I... Uh, would need to have this all the time for every workout but more for those times where you know you don't want to leave the house or you want to get a workout in at home or whatever else um that's what i kind of wanted to have before and i wanted it to be something that could last me you know what 10 years plus or something like that and not just be a really bad product that i was going to have to get rid of um so i kind of was trying to find that balance i didn't really want to pay a bunch to have it be like the super high quality um, super heavyweight stuff that really I was only going to be the one using and I wouldn't even be using it full time or um, I didn't want that and I didn't want you know the super cheap stuff that I was just going to re regret buying so I found Rep Fitness it seemed like the quality was kind of in between the two um, but the price was actually a lot closer to Titan Fitness and so I was kind of doing my research on um, you know people talking about you know, is Rep Fitness quality? Um, is it better than Titan Fitness um, for the money and stuff like that? And largely it seemed like people, you know, liked Rep Fitness, um, but I didn't see a lot of like resources. Like there wasn't as many people commenting about it. So that's kind of just why I wanted to make this because so far in my first month or two, however long I've had it, I, I have not even gone to my other gym. I think I went one time and since I got this home gym. So I've every workout I've done, I've done on here. Um, and it's been obviously um it's been great so far i haven't had any issues at all um the only thing for me personally is that where i would put you know the spotter arms um just for my personal like where my chest is it's not i kind of have to puff my chest out a bit um to make it work but other than that um and that's something where it's going to vary from person to person so the one thing i do wish was that around the areas for the bench press you would have you know the west side system or whatever where you're getting more holes so you have a little bit more um, ability to customize where you want the spotter arms or um, the j hooks or anything like that j cups whatever they're called so that's one thing i wish this had other than that i haven't had any complaints other than <laughs> obviously just i got the short rack because these ceilings are low and i can't considering i'm tall i can't fully extend um, and do like a weighted pull up but I can still do pull-ups on here. I just kind of have to have my legs straight out. But that obviously, you can get a taller rack and that would fix that issue. That's just the issue that I've had in my space just because my basement um, ceilings are so low. So those are the only things that I've kind of found annoying about this. Otherwise, um, it's been completely serviceable. I've always, um, I've had, you know, really bad bench presses and stuff in the past that I didn't like. So it's not like I'm satisfied um, with everything but this I've been working out in um, you know obviously gyms with higher quality equipment for a while and I don't notice any difference um, with this I mean it might not be as high of quality in terms of like the build quality but in terms of actual training and what I'm able to get done you know it's the same thing and I was actually able to get my entire setup for under a thousand bucks uh, with tax included and shipping and all that it was under a thousand bucks and um, I was able to get a short squat rack power rack whatever with spotter arms um, the J cups I got a you know Olympic barbell got around 200 pounds of plates um, 
got a bench that's you know fully adjustable so I can do um, seated press and stuff like that. And then I also got um, dip attachments, which is something that I've kind of started to implement into my routine. Um, so all that stuff is pretty much going to cover all your bases unless, you know, obviously if you're going to be um, deadlifting a ton of weight, then maybe that's not something that, you know, you're going to need to buy a lot more weight. Um, but for me, you know, the 200 pounds that I had and I had a little bit of weight um, that I already had at Olympic plates, um, it's been totally serviceable and um, I got bumper plates as well in case I do want to deadlift on these floors in the future. And it's honestly just been such a good experience. Um, and I'm so surprised of, you know, it's not the number one best quality thing I've ever used in the world, but for the price that I paid for everything that I got, I just, I can't recommend getting something like Rogue if you're not just a fully elite athlete who just needs to have like so many hundreds of pounds on there. This is gonna be acceptable for probably 95% of people if not more, and you're not gonna have any of the issues, at least in my experience, that Titan Fitness would give you. Nobody has really said that they had, you know, faulty parts or anything like that. I didn't have that experience. Um, I put it together myself even, so I didn't have any help and I was able to put the squat rack together. Um, it would have been easier with two people, but I did it by myself. And um, it's just been overall been a great experience and I just wanted to put that out there because I think, um, you know, this is an alternative for people who maybe are considering getting a home gym and they're thinking they got to spend a lot more money at Rogue to get some high quality stuff when this stuff is pretty high quality, especially for the price. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. So just want to throw that out there. Um, if you have any questions about rep fitness or anything else, um, let me know. Otherwise, that's all I got to say. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.